Chapter 10 and verse 9. Look it up. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. So what made him a why is the Bible saying he was a mighty hunter before the Lord? Because he hunted the souls of men. Meaning, what he believed in and has he worshipped, by the way, he married his mother and had a son. The son's name was Tammuz. Right? That's where Easter comes from. That's where a lot of these holidays come from. That's the worship of a Christmas. Right? It goes into Tammuz. This is way back during the first kingdom after the flood. That's what this is. Right? The Babylonian kingdom, the, the first Babylonian kingdom under Nimrod. So when it says he began to be a mighty hunter before the Lord, that means he gathered everybody to himself. So there was no, you are special people over there. You, you are Israelite. You, you, you were God's chosen people. You're supposed to be doing what God said. No, he gathered everybody to himself, all nations to himself. That's what it means. He began to be a mighty hunter before the Lord because the Lord established the nations right or wrong. Right. And when he did that, he gave all the people what they're supposed to do, which is obey the Israelites or the cho it was no Israelites in this time. They were the chosen people, the sons of Adam or the sons of God. They were called in this time. Right. The other people were the sons of man. They were referred to as the sons of man. Adam was going into the sons of God. You understand? I'm just giving you a quick back history. So what Nimrod did was he gathered everybody and said, all right, y'all just all follow me. So there was no more the sons of God ruling the earth no more, behaving as their father. You understand? They now behave as Nimrod. So what's wrong with marrying your mother? What's wrong with that? And having a child with them. What's wrong with that? You understand? We were corrupted even then. So the Lord had to intervene and destroy that. So that's why that's what it means when it says, for Nimrod, where it said he began to be a mighty hunter before the Lord. More people obeyed him than God in the earth at this time. Right? All right. Let's get it real quick. Job chapter one. He introduced the worship of birthdays into the earth. The worship of the, the a, a child being born or the day you were born. Watch this. This is the book of Job, chapter one and verse four. And his sons went and feasted in their houses. Nope, start at verse 1. I'll show you something. This is the book of Job chapter 1 and verse 1. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. So he feared God and eschewed evil, right? Meaning, ah, evil, right? Watch this. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. So he has seven sons, three daughters. Watch this. His substance also was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household. So the Bible is describing animals, right? What's significant of that is that's also describing his measure of wealth. Imagine you just got five cows. Let's not even talk about the other stuff. 500 cows. Where do you keep them? How do you feed them every day? Right. How do you take care of them? How do you take care of their sicknesses? So that, that's going into servants, that's going into land, that's going into money. Right. So the Bible is describing this man was w wealthy beyond measure. Watch this. So that this man was the greatest of all the men of the East. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, everyone his day. What does that mean? Everyone his day. His day means birthday. You have a day, which is your, what's which, which your day? That's what your day is. Everyone feasted in his son's house. All his children feasted in his house, everyone on their day. So this is the place where everybody go. We link up, we go, we go to Frank's house when the birthday come. He know how to throw a mean party. Frank know how to, you don't do it big, right? Watch this. And sent and called for their three sisters. Uh -huh. Hey, y'all come to the feast. Y'all come to the party. It's Frank's birthday today. It's so-and-so birthday today, right? Watch this. To eat and to drink with them. You see that? To eat and to drink. What is that explaining? A feast, a party, right? You know, it wasn't just eat, drink. Okay, bye. It was, you know, they was partying. Come on. And it was so. When the days of their feasting were going about. See that? So now it calls that eating and drinking feasting. When the days of their feasting were going out. Come on. That Job sent 
and sanctified them. Remember, Job was what? A righteous and perfect man before the Lord. One that eschewed evil. Right? Now this is his children. Watch this. And rose up early. Start over. Yes, sir. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were going about, that Job sent and sanctified them. So while they were feasting, Job like, man, my kids, I know they over there. Because Job didn't teach them that. Remember, it just said he was a perfect man before the Lord. He eschewed evil. Meaning what? He see his kids doing evil. What do he do? He eschewed it. And he ain't shoot them. I ain't going to say that. Because when they, you know, you ain't going to shoot your baby. You're going to show them. No, son. That ain't it. Don't do that no more. Right? So when eschewed evil... He has shooed the evil out of his children, for sure. So this is, it, you got to, you know, by deducing, right? You have to understand, they understood that they were not supposed to do this. They knew it. Job taught them. He was perfect. They his kids. Watch this. Read it again. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were going about. While they celebrating their birthday, come on. That Job sent and sanctified them. Uh-huh. What's the, what does it mean to sanctify he went and sacrificed and prayed to, to, to God to have mercy on them. That's what it means. He sanctified them. Why would he have to sanctify them if there was nothing wrong with what they were doing? Right. Right. Why wasn't he there with them? Right. Why wouldn't they come to his great mansion with all his wealth and riches to do that? Right. Why is it telling you they had to do that at his son's house? Why? <laughs> because Job eschewed it. It was evil. It is evil. Watch this. And rose up early in the morning. Come on. And offered burnt offerings. What do we offer burnt offerings for? Back in this time. We don't anymore because Christ died on the cross, right? Being that sacrifice. But what did we offer it for back in these days? For sin. When you sin, it was certain things that you do, right? Like a peace offering. That had to be offered daily in the, in the temple for the sins of Israel. That's daily. You understand? So Job, like, yo, I know my kids is in sin. Lord, let me let me let me go up and pray and burn a, 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 a whatever, burn some oxen or burn something, so that the Lord will hear my oblation. Back in the day, before Christ, that's that was the 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 uh, ordinance, right? That was the law, right? Read. And offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. According to the number of his children. That's right. Why would he have to burn offerings for his children? Because they were in sin. That's right. right. Lord, don't kill my babies. Lord, I know that. I, listen, Father, they, 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 I get it, but please have mercy, oh Lord. Forgive them, Father. Forgive them, Lord. Have mercy. Don't kill my, kill my kids. Watch this. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned. It may be that my sons have sinned. How is it that Job don't know? Why he saying it may be? Because they got away from him to do that. They got away from him to do that. But he's perfect. And upright, and he eschews evil. You telling me that Job's sons can't come and feast at his house in righteousness? It had to be evil. But watch this. We're going to prove that it's evil. Watch this. And curse God in their hearts. They curse God in their hearts to do it. You know what I mean to curse God? You hear the law, you be like, nah, I'm not doing that. Nah. That's cursing God. That's cursing God. It may be, Job said it may be, Lord, that they curse God in their heart. Meaning they said to hell with the laws, to hell with what my father taught us in righteousness, right? Watch this. Thus did Job continually. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. Now, this is the delegation in heaven. This is the count. The Lord is mustering all his angels, right? Y'all know it's angels here in this earth. That's who make earthquakes. All that stuff happen. That ain't just random. Just, you know what? Uh, uh, you know, a rock hit another rock in the right way and it just... No, there's angels. God is controlling his creation, right. right? All the death you see, God is doing that. 100,000 died in a flood. God is doing that. God is doing it. The same one that created life, guess who is overtaking it also? God. Right. God. Watch this. So it says, it says that the sons of God, those are angels, right? Came to present themselves before the Father. You familiar with, with mustering or military? Right, you, you get up in the morning, you gotta go muster, right? You gotta go muster before who? The leader. Whether it's the commander, the, what they call an army? Captain, colonel, chief, whatever. 
right? Whether, whoever you got a muster before. So here, the Lord said, everybody come muster. Watch this. And Satan came also among them. Uh-oh. Satan is also one of God's angels. He ain't up there fighting with God. Then God get a few licks in and he get a few in. And then God take them and throw them to the earth and then he come back and they fight again. That's stupidity that places like this teach us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I learned that same stupidity. But that ain't what we're reading here. In the Bible, listen. Watch this. And the Lord said unto Satan. God said to Satan, come on. Whence comest thou? What have you been doing? So imagine this. You go muster, right? You go before, a bo uh, I don't know what the term that y'all, like go before the board or a board, right? They, uh, who are you? What are you doing? Why, what, what's your job? What's your position? What's your title? Have you done it? Uh, what's going on? What are you facing doing it? What's your success rate? All those things, right? So God is saying, have you tried my servant, Job? God is introducing Satan to the thought. Yo, I told you to go try my sons, right? Go try them. See which one will deny you. That's what Satan was created for. To make sure that his sons, his daughters, deny Satan. If you deny Satan, what are you doing with him? You're acknowledging God. You understand? So Satan is before God. God is asking, what have you been doing? Watch this. Then Satan answered the Lord. Now this is what Satan said back to that question. And said, from going to and fro in the earth. Uh -huh. From going to and fro in the earth. What to and fro mean? What are you saying? He's saying, Lord, I'm, I'm doing what you told me to do. I'm doing my job. What, what's, what's good? What's, what's going on? What's on your mind? Right? Come on. And from walking he up. He ain't say it like that. You know he had more respect than to just speak loosely. But watch this. And from walking up and down in it. Uh-huh. And the Lord said unto Satan. Watch this. Hast thou considered my servant Job? Uh-huh. That there is none like him in the earth. Now this is God talking to Satan. Have you considered my servant Job? That there is none like him? He's per This one is perfect. He's definitely going to deny you, Satan. Have you tried him? Watch this. A perfect and upright man. One that feareth God and eschewed evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast thou not made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? So he's saying, Satan is saying, God, he, he only loves you because you protect him and you gave him everything. You made him a rich man. He don't face no trials. He don't, he don't go through nothing. That's why he loves you. Watch this. Thou hast blessed the work of his hands. Uh, everything he do, Lord, you bless it. You know how we do some things and it, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. No, he said everything Job do, he like, Lord, he love you because everything he touch, you bless it. You make it, you, you give him success. Come on. And his substance is increased in the land. Uh -huh. But put forth thy hand now. He said, but put forth your hand, meaning say, say go. Give me the word. Watch this. And touch all that he has. Give me the word to go and touch all his substance, everything he got, his riches, his family, his servants. Watch this. And he will curse thee to thy face. Guarantee you he going to curse you. Guarantee you he going to start keeping birthdays. Guarantee you he going to deny you. Guarantee. That's what Satan is telling the Lord. Watch this. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. He said, go ahead, Satan. Go and get rid of all his wealth. All his riches, everything he got, it's in your power. Do you. Watch this. Only upon himself, put not forth thine hand. Just don't kill Job himself. Don't touch Job. You can touch everything else. Just don't touch him. Watch this. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Uh -huh. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking. Uh -oh. Hold on. Remember that day? We, we read about it. One of those days, everybody eating and drinking, every man his day, birthdays, watch this. We're eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. In their brother's house, come on. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. Remember, that's going into what? His wealth, his substance, his estate, right? Watch this. And the Sabians fell upon them. The Sabians are the enemies, are the other nations. They fell upon Job's substance. They took all Job's stuff. Watch this. And took them away. Come on. Yeah. 
They have slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And they kill all your servants. They took all your stuff. You got jacked. You got robbed. They took everything and they killed your servants. Watch this. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. <laughs> hey, but Job, I made it, but I saw what happened. And he's telling Job the account of what just happened. Watch this. While he was yet speaking, there came also another. While he was yet speaking, while this one is, is Job, they killed the animal, they took everything, they did, hey, yo, everybody did, they did. Another one came up. Come on, listen to what the other one said. And said, the fire of God is fallen from heaven. Fire from heaven came from God. Watch this. And have burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Come on. While he was yet speaking, there came also another. Another servant. Another servant. Three servants coming to report to Job. Job, it's a, yo, it's fire came from heaven. Yo, the Sabians, they came and they killed everybody. Another one's coming now. Come on. And said, the Chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon the camels. Uh -huh. And have carried them away. Yea, the slain servants with the edge of the sword. Read. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Read. While he was yet speaking, there came also another. Now it's four that's reporting on all this destruction at the same time that Job is facing. Watch this. And said, thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. Now what is this going into? <coughs> the birthday feast. We just read that earlier on in verse, was that four? Verse four. That's going into everyone eating and drinking his day, right? In their eldest brother's house. Whereas in Job was like, Lord, please don't kill my kids. They doing evil right now, or it may be that they doing evil because they weren't in the presence of Job, right? Watch this. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house. The house that they were keeping the birthday feast in, the birthday celebration in, come on. And it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. God allowed Satan to kill all Job's kids on their birthday because they were evil. Why was it that Satan could not take Job's life? There you go. He was perfect. Baruch chapter 4. He was perfect. That's why. What made him perfect? He eschewed evil. He eschewed the bad. Right? Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Read out. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. Everybody that keep it going to come to life or preserve your life. Read. But. Such as leave it. But such as leave it. Remember it said curse, they cursed God in their heart. Meaning they left from what they were taught. They left the commandments that they father that eschewed evil. That was perfect. Taught them. Right? They left off from that. Watch this. But such as leave it shall die. But such as leave the commandments of God shall die. That's why we go through what we go through. That's why. It's not random. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with robots.